Now, back to a story that we've been covering since it broke during our 4 o'clock newscast. A police officer in KCK is expected to be okay after being shot. Tonight, the search for the suspect continues. KCTV5's Betsy Webster joins us now live from the scene with the latest. Betsy? Well, Brad, uh, we're seeing something new here with some light shed on it. Behind me, you can see what appears to be the police officer's car, the Kansas City, Kansas officer's car, and those orange cones there. Typically, those mark evidence. Typically, that means shell casings. Now, News Sense 6, we have learned that the police officer actually exchanged fire with the man who shot him. We're not sure who shot first or if the suspect was also hit, but we know that the officer was hit in the arm and is expected to be okay. A mobile command post arrived at 8 p.m., suggesting a long night ahead. To have something like this happen is just, it's crazy. Neighbors were stunned and upset. My neighbors have told me there was three gunshots that they heard. We don't hear too many gunshots around here. The shooting happened just after 4 p.m., just a few yards across KCK city limits in Overland Park. The suspect took off after shooting the officer in the Turner neighborhood and ditched his car three miles away in the Argentine neighborhood. KCK police say they were after the man because they'd received reports of multiple hit and runs in Wyandotte County earlier today. That suspect's uh, description was given out to our officers, obviously. The officer involved in this incident was uh, out on patrol and obviously identified the suspect's vehicle. He pursued the car until it crossed the county line, then stopped, but it was a dead end. Police say the man got out, exchanged gunfire with the officer, then took off. This was an instance where, yes, we knew this person was involved in a couple hit and runs, but uh, I'm sure when that officer uh, stopped his vehicle, he had no idea what was going to happen in the next few seconds. But it just makes you, you just never know. It's just, it's not right, you know, and it's, uh, it's frustrating. Now, police do not yet have a description of the man to share with us. We did check the tags on the car where it was abandoned and they are temp tags or temporary tags which are harder to trace than the regular ones reporting live in kansas city kansas it's overland park right over there betsy webster kctv5 news yeah betsy you've been on this story since it broke today at 4:15. thanks for all your hard work